Hello, I got a new toy this weekend. It is the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and I'm going to try my best to review it. Now I'm not going to be talking about it from the point of view of specs and all the little stuff that everybody else talks about. I'm going to be looking at this from the point of view of an illustrator who's trying to replace his Wacom tablet. I've really been looking for a portable drawing tablet ever since the iPad first came out. I've used the iPad for illustration before but I can't get the kind of accuracy even with the dozens of styluses that I've tried and, and played around with that I really want out of a mobile drawing tablet. So a little background, my current setup is a Wacom Cintiq. It's a 12 incher. I got it in 2008, so I've been using it for six years. It has been my primary drawing tablet. I'm using it on a Mac and I'm usually mostly Photoshop and Illustrator. So I'll start with the hardware. First of all, the tablet itself, it's solid. It's pretty lightweight. There are holes in it that you can stick things in. So I, honestly, there's a lot of people who have reviewed it and have said a lot of cool things about it. I mean, as far as the hardware goes, it's it's pretty good. And it comes with this guy, the stylus. They call it a pen. I really like it. It's solid. It feels good. There's a, uh, a quadruple A uh, battery in here uh, that kind of weights down the middle of the pen, and there's some smaller batteries in the back, so it really feels well-weighted. It's not like the back is too heavy from the front. Um, it draws really well. Um, I'm also under the understanding that the nibs can be replaced in this as well, which is another thing that uh, you can do with Wacom tablet uh, pens that uh, really comes in handy. Now the pressure sensitivity in this is lower than my Wacom tablet. My current Wacom tablet's pressure sensitivity I think is 1024, which works great for what I'm doing. This is dramatically lower, it's 256. But uh, while drawing with it, I didn't really notice any discernible difference. It actually works pretty well. The tablet itself is 12 inches, which is kind of about the size of a normal laptop screen, not a normal tablet screen. So it's a little bit larger, um, but it works extraordinarily well for drawing on because that extra room and that extra pixel density um, really gives you room for your tools to sit and gives you a lot of drawing room. My 12 inch Wacom uh, has a much lower resolution on it and uh, it feels like more recent versions of Photoshop, most of the tools take up half of the screen and there's a very small amount of room for drawing. So the extra space is really, really nice. There's also this kickstand on the back, which is really nice, which pops up pretty easily, but then if you really pull, it's double hinged like a serpent's jar, Uncle Joe's thumbs. And so you can get it into a really nice, position for setting on a table and drawing on. I would be careful closing it though, however, because once you get it to this point, it snaps pretty quick and I'll pinch my hand a couple times with that. I also got one of these guys. This is the type cover. Type cover just snaps right into place just like that. It goes over the thing. The only thing I don't care for on it is it's kind of fuzzy on the outside, which is uh, it's already collecting dust and schmutz. And I have a feeling that six months from now, this thing is going to look really nasty on the outside. But uh, the way it folds out and it actually kind of is laptop-esque is kind of nice and pretty cool. Now for most people, this type cover is going to be really nice and really useful. For me, it felt when I was putting it out of the desk, I had to reach over it to draw and my palm and arm were always kind of, I could never quite get comfortable on it. So I ended up taking it off. Same thing when I was sitting uh, on the couch drawing with it, there was just no comfortable way to get this thing in my lap when it was down in the position that I wanted it. So I ended up taking it off most of the time. One workaround I found is I ended up taking my old Apple keyboard, this guy, and uh, I used, it's a Bluetooth keyboard, so I ended up uh, pairing it with the tablet itself and that worked really well because I could move that around and put it wherever I needed to put it. And I think it's actually cheaper to buy one of those than it is to buy a cover. I also ended up connecting my mouse to it because as much as I thought I'd be able to get away without one with just using the stylus or touch or the little keypad on it, it just, I needed that precision. All right, on to the fun stuff. Next, we're gonna talk about drawing. How does it work? How does it feel? Okay, first I gotta talk about Photoshop and my experiences drawing in that. And I was actually really impressed. Um, I do a lot of my sketch work up front in Photoshop and then I move it into Illustrator to do the finishing work. So uh, that's how I started, sketching in Photoshop. Now, first off, the first thing I noticed is that all the interface elements, because you have this high density screen with the, a, a lot of pixels across it, um, it was very, very hard to hit some of the controls and getting layers to turn on and off and those sort of things. Even with what you think is a very accurate stylus, it was very hard to hit those very small touch areas. Now, fortunately, early on, I found in the preferences um, something called experimental settings, which made me a little nervous, but turns out it's kind of awesome. One of them is to double the size of the interface elements. This made Photoshop 120 times better to use. Everything was easier to hit. I could actually hit things with my finger. My thumb was along the slot side, so I was able to hit a paintbrush when I needed a paintbrush. I was able to hit the eraser when I needed the eraser. So I quickly got comfortable with the tools and using it kind of two-handed. I did miss the keyboard. I know Photoshop shortcuts like the back of my hand is built into my muscle memory and so hitting command Z or 
deleting something or wiping something out, all that stuff I have kind of programmed into me. And since you're dealing with just a tablet, if a keyboard is not attached to it, you lose a ton of functionality that you just don't think about otherwise. So the paired Apple keyboard really helped me out. Another experimental feature that Adobe Photoshop has is the ability to enable touch controls. And I really, really liked this a lot. One of them was being able to pinch and zoom uh, since it was hard to kind of zoom out without a keyboard, uh, the pinch and zoom made it really easy to get it in and out of there and find into tight spots and actually get some of your sketching in. So that was fantastic. Another thing that the touch controls let you do is the ability to take two fingers and spin it and actually spin your canvas. Now back uh, when I'm using my Wacom, I turn it around a lot so I can get the right angle just so I can get something just right. But this way I can actually change my canvas instead of the position of the tablet to something awkward. Now I read some reviews that said that it was kind of laggy when they were using their uh, their new Surface 3. I didn't experience that lag sometimes when I was pinching and zooming a little bit, but when I was drawing, I thought it was pretty snappy. And then there was Adobe Illustrator. As good as Photoshop was, was as disappointing as Illustrator was. A lot of what I do in Illustrator is I draw my lines and then I redraw over those lines and it's nice because you can kind of edit as you go. And then I'll go in with the, uh, I'll hold control, get the little white arrow and I'll actually change some of the angles and arcs and perfect those strokes. And what I found was that when I went to do that, it was incredibly, incredibly hard to grab those little one or two pixel wide um, little dot specks on that screen in order to change the actual alignment when I was using the arrow tool. It was very, very difficult and almost impossible to use without a mouse. So when I was using Illustrator, I came up with this setup where I had my keyboard kind of off to the side and I had my mouse off to the side. And so I was drawing one minute and then I was moving my hand back to the mouse. And so I was kind of doing this back and forth sort of thing. And uh, over time, I kind of got a process together that worked pretty well and I got some nice stuff out of it. On the other hand, when I tried drawing on the couch while I was watching TV with my wife, it it just didn't work. <laughs> Just, I, I needed the keyboard, I needed the mouse, Illustrator doesn't work on the on the fly. And then there was the ever important switch between being used to using a Mac and then switching over to a PC. I love me some keyboard shortcuts, which is why I can't tell you how many times I went and I hit command and then C or P or whatever, and it ended up, the command button is actually the Windows button and it ended up throwing me to the start menu over and over and over and over. It was, oh, it was infuriating. I get it, that's kind of on me. So what I did is I went out and I downloaded this cheapo little um, keyboard mapper doodad thing for the PC and I changed the Windows buttons over to a uh, control button. And after that, my workflow improved dramatically. I read a Penny Arcade article where it talked about how the uh, illustrator was always, uh, the palm of his hand was always hitting that Windows button and always throwing him back to the home screen. I think it was similar to that, except I didn't have that problem. My hand never landed there. Uh, so I never really felt the haptic touch. Haptic feedback is just a ridiculously fancy way of saying it shakes when you touch it. So if you're thinking about switching over, here's a couple things that you should just be aware of. One, the surface is pure glass. It's smooth and it's beautiful and it's shiny. The Wacom that I was using, and I think a lot of their products are kind of like slightly textured, almost to the point where you don't notice them. It's kind of like drawing on a really smooth vellum. So there's some resistance to that pen, but just a tiny bit. On a glass surface, there's none of that. It's slippery, it's smooth, and there were several times where the, especially early on before I was used to it, where the stylus is just going a lot faster and further than I expected it to. Whenever the surface is off for an extended period of time, it unpairs my drawing pen. Uh, the drawing pen still works when you come back, but it's not nearly as responsive and you don't get all the features. So I found myself four or five times during the day going to control panels, uh, turning off the pen and repairing the pen, which takes all of about two minutes to do, but uh, still annoying. So now I know whenever I turn the thing on, I'm supposed to repair the pen. Another thing is this little pen has some buttons on it and it'd be really useful to be able to map those buttons and actually put like control on there or the space bar on there or something like that. But right now there's no way to do that. I'm hoping over time there are some drivers that let me customize this. I was also really impressed by the battery life in the thing. Uh, I watched three hours of TV with my wife. We binge watch Orange is the New Black and during that time my battery got down to like 40%. So I'm thinking this thing probably is going to last you four or five hours if you're just drawing it. So to wrap up, I'm going to keep the thing. I'm not going to return it. I think it's kind of like driving somebody else's car. It's going to take you where you need to go, but it's going to take a little while and adjusting to get used to. So Photoshop is your primary tool. You're solid. You're good to go. If Illustrator is your major tool and that's what you want it for, maybe you should pass. Of course, most of these problems are actually software problems. They're not problems with the hardware itself. So I'm hoping over time, Adobe and Microsoft can address some of them and this can become a better and better illustration tool.